around your daughter. No hurt, harm, or danger. I pray that you'll assign a hundred thousand angels to cover her head. Thank you, dear Lord, that you have given her this moment to defy the odds in front of the entire world. Now, God, not for her name, but we promise we're going to give you all of the victory. Not by might, not by power, but only by your spirit. And those of you who believe that Kamala Harris was born for this moment, would you give God glory for her even in this? I'm waiting for the prayer warriors to open up your mouth. Oh, yes, you got a prayer warrior right here <laughs> opening up my mouth. Welcome back, Warriors. It's me, Linda B. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. Well, 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 on her 60th birthday, VP Kamala Harris visits a church. What? And you won't believe what church it is. Actually, you probably will believe it. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, hit the notification bell. Watch the video to the end. Now, let's get into it. So Kamala Harris has been under a lot of fire lately. I've done another video of her administration really going after a mother who is a pro-lifer, a wife and mother by the name of B.D. Well, Bevelyn B.D. Williams. And her husband, B.D. Williams, his husband is online saying <laughs> not so kind things against Kamala Harris. And he really wants us all to vote for Trump because, again, she's separating a black man from his family. And you know what she did when she was in California? I mean, I don't have to keep going over those details. She separated thousands of black families. That is just what Democrats do. I'm sorry. I'm going to be nice. I'm going to be nice. The Democrats, no, I'm not going to be nice. That's a hateful party. Anybody voting for them who is black, especially, or anybody just patriotic and American is really just don't know. But she did visit New Birth Missionary Baptist Church with Pastor Jamal Bryant. Yeah, you know, the one that's got multiple kids with different women. You know, the one that allegedly cheated on his wife and his current fiance with her BBL and tight jeans. Don't want to hear anything else about anybody telling her how to dress. But in any event, this is VP Harris at Missionary, New Birth Missionary Baptist Church just yesterday. Come on, make some noise, Atlanta. Make some noise, Camp County. Madam Vice President, they're not ready to receive you yet. They clear their throat. They are getting ready. Listen to me. This Wait a minute. What does he have on his feet? I'm sorry. What is this? What are these pink? What kind of shoes? <laughs> okay, let me stay focused, you guys. But look at those shoes on his feet. This one right here is a trip. This is our moment. Your unborn great-grandchildren are going to ask you, what were you doing? I... Oh, it's funny he mentions your unborn great-great-grandchildren. You know, the people that she likes to unalive. He's talking about the unborn, but yet you have a woman who is for obliterating the unborn. Unborn black people, by the way, in your church. Make up your mind. Which end of the spectrum are you on? Are you pro-life or pro-choice? Don't talk about the unborn in your church with Kamala Harris standing there right next to you. October 20th, 2024, and you were in the room for the first black woman vice president of the United States. Would you make some noise and receive our fearless leader? Oh, you know, this is just about enough to make me want to puke right here. But I'm not going to puke right now. I'm not going to puke. But this is the same woman now. OK, this is the same woman and this church. And I'm going to show you more about this church and this pastor in just a moment. I like to put together a full story to complete and show you the whole narrative. So this is them right here. And it says she was born for such a time as this Sunday, October 20th, 2024. And they put Esther. Don't compare her to Esther. Oh, my God. 
See, this is why I got to say it. I'm just going to say it. And I don't care. I'm just going to say it. The black church needs to be, I don't know, just cleaned out. <laughs> An enema at this point. Not all black churches, but it's a good portion that you wonder. You're like, and there are plenty of white churches that are going down that same evil path. But my life has been seeing up close and personal black churches that have strayed from the faith completely and entirely. And you know what Creflo Dollar did with Stacey Abrams had her at his church. Tommy, y'all know what to do, telling everybody to vote for her. Oh my gosh, another demon crap. But let's just see, looks like they're praying over her and she doesn't even, I don't even think she believes in God. I said, I don't think she does. Around your daughter, no hurt, harm, or danger. I pray that you'll assign 100,000 angels to cover her head. Thank you, dear Lord, that you have given her this moment to defy the odds in front of the entire world. Now, God, not for her name, but we promise we're going to give you all of the victory. Not by might, not by power, but only by your spirit. And those of you who believe that Kamala Harris was born for this moment, would you give God glory for her even in this... I'm waiting for the prayer warriors to open up your mouth. Oh, yes, you got a prayer warrior right here <laughs> opening up my mouth. No, no, sir, no, ma'am. She is anti-God. And we want to take the fact that she might have a drop of black blood in her and put that above the teachings of Christ. And you know what Candace Owens has put out there. These people must not know or they think it's some kind of conspiracy. Hmm. She's moving from this place. She's moving from this place. We've got two and a half weeks. We got two and a half weeks. But I want her to remember in fond recollection that in Atlanta, Georgia, they prayed for her, that they covered her, and that they strengthened her. I need some anti puke medicine. Mm. Okay. So in any event, that was Jamal Bryant, the pastor of New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. And one of the ladies is his fiance, the one with the golden kind of reddish strawberry blonde hair that was praying. Yes. And um, that whole little thing right there. But in any event, I want to show you something about the pastor of this church that hosted Kamala Harris. I want you to see what I am talking about. So having them pray over her and I don't Again, allegedly, I, I just don't know if I think she really believes in God at all. I don't think there's anything there spiritually in her. And again, that is her path. If you look at her history and she allegedly has a communist background, connections, Marxism in her background, in her lineage, her heritage, allegedly, guys, allegedly. But I want to show you something else. Before I get into Jamal Bryant, I do want to revisit this clip at a Wisconsin rally for Kamala Harris. I do want to revisit this and let you guys. <laughs> she said, so that person was saying Christ is King, Jesus is Lord. And she said, you're at the wrong rally. And we're just going to play this. Oh, you guys are at the wrong rally. This is after he said, Christ is King, Jesus is Lord. She said, oh, you're at the wrong rally. And they were just cheering. They sounded demonic. See, this, this is a battle between good and evil, guys. And let me just also visit this. Now, this is the part where I'm getting into this Jamal Bryant heresy. Now, this pastor, again, the same one that had Kamala Harris up at the pulpit, everybody praying over her. It says, Pastor Jamal Bryant says there's something wrong with black men who don't support a sister, Kamala Harris. First of all, she's not a sister. OK, well, Mr. Bryant, were you supporting a sister when you cheated on your wife with members of your congregation? Allegedly. Yes. Yeah, so you being very supportive of sisters because you cheated on sisters. 
You said something is wrong with brothers who don't know how to support a sister. Yeah. Full stop. (laughs) (laughs) And Mordecai was man enough to know that in order for me to be a man, I got to know how to support a woman. Something is wrong with brothers who don't know how to support a sister. And I want to uh, say I am divorced uh, because I cheated. I divorced because of my infidelity, not because of irreconcilable differences. Uh, but because I broke that covenant. Uh, And so I had to go through a healing process for myself. What is it that was in me uh, that would uh, go outside of the bounds of my covenant, my agreement, and to risk my family for somebody I never wanted to be with? There. And I got to really show you this next clip. Now, this is the clincher. This man clearly is a false prophet. He is heretical. This is not surprising to me that he would have a candidate, somebody like Kamala Harris and her background at his church after she already said you're at the wrong rally. I digress on that point. I'm just really fed up with some people right now. I'm just fed up with these so-called Christians. But let's get into this. At the risk of being heretical tonight, Might I suggest to you that um, 85% of Jesus' life, he was out of order. Eighty-five percent of his life, he was doing what he was not called to do. God, y'all done got quiet. For 85% of his life, he was not flowing in his God-given function. 85%. I got to just stop it, okay? If you guys want to listen to this, you can, you know, listen at it at your leisure. But look at the people behind him. Why didn't they just get up and walk out? Anybody that is preaching like this. Now, this is, again, the man that had Kamala Harris at his church. Are these real places of worship, real Holy Spirit filled ministers proclaiming the truth of the gospel? Or or are they just false prophets that the Bible says there will be plenty of in the last days? The Bible says in Matthew 24, make sure that no one deceives you. Okay, there is a reason why the disciples asked Jesus, what will be the signs of the last days and the sign of your return? This is in Matthew 24. And the first thing out of Jesus' mouth is make sure that nobody deceives you. There will be false prophets and they will deceive many, many false prophets, not just false prophets, but many false prophets and not just deceive people, but deceive many people. And these people sitting up there in that church. What's wrong with them that they got a leader like that? That's what you got to ask yourselves. We get the leaders that we want. And sometimes it's what's in us that's flawed and corrupt that gets us these evil people. So he's going to say, he's going to say, he's already said this, that 85% of the time Jesus was out of order. Jesus is perfect. That man has spirit of the Antichrist. I said it and I meant it. Prove me wrong. What did he just say? Oh, I don't back down now because we got to be bold. Everybody else out here with pride, and you know what I mean. They're out here shaking their tail feather. And I can't be vocal about something that's righteous. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And this is the kind of person. That's why I wanted to show you there is a reason why he had Kamala Harris there. Because look at where he is himself spiritually look at where he is not in the right place i would say and you saw that he admitted to infidelity at least he told the truth and said it wasn't because of irreconcilable differences he cheated on his wife but with someone he didn't even want to be with whether he wanted to be with the other person or not you are in a covenant relationship when we are married that is for life you forsake all others Okay, you don't lust, you don't look at certain types of inappropriate material, porn and all that. You just stick with the one you married with. Okay, if you don't really want somebody, don't be pressured into marrying them and making their lives miserable. But I want to show you all got you guys that. So you just tell me what you think (laughs) about this whole fiasco with Kamala Harris and Pastor Jamal Bryant. 
of the new birth missionary baptist church in atlanta georgia they known for those mega churches in atlanta they really, really are. But you all, please remember to smash that like button. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell. You all be blessed. Love God, your families, these United States of America. And as they always say, march on, warriors. <laughs>